Well, hello there. I am Merritt Fields from InStyle Atlanta. We are here with Arnita Johnson, and she is a financial extraordinaire. We are super in for a treat today because I don't know about you, but we all need some tips about financial. Um, so you are the CEO and the owner of ABF Credit Consulting. AMB. I'm sorry. It's okay. AMB. Sometimes I have. Well, anyways. AMB. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my dyslexia. Um, okay. So A and B Consulting Group. So tell me, how did this how did this even begin? Where did you get this vision for it? What inspired you? Tell me all about it. Okay. Uh, well, it pretty much started um, a couple of years ago. So to be there. Okay. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, I repaired my own credit. And I then realized how difficult it was. Yeah. And how the average person just could not have known this information. So um, I did my credit, my family's credit, my friend's credit, so I could lose my job. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm not going to go back to work. Maybe I should do this. Yeah. And then it just turned into this. Yeah, so for seven years strong, you have been helping people repair their credit Absolutely. and really giving them the step-by-step -step process of what Absolutely. specifically you should be doing and how you can do all that. That's yeah. fantastic. Um, the other thing, though, is I like that you have a different spin on it because yes. it's really focusing on women Absolutely. and our balance for fashion. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for fashion, but also for us to be financially conscious. So can yes. you talk to us a little bit about just what are some really great tips of balancing how you always want to look luxurious and fly, mm -hmm. but then your pockets may Absolutely. not always reflect that. Absolutely. Um, even a few years ago... Um, um, I had, you know, irresponsible spending habits, and shopping habits, you know, the budget, and, you know, I always wanted to be in the latest fashions and look nice, but then I was wearing more than what I had in my checkbook, yeah. so it didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So once I started to just put my credit in order and then get my finance in order, I said, well, you know what? I can actually do both, and there's a way to do both. So um, that's pretty much what started luxurious credit. So luxurious credit to me is just a mind frame, whatever is luxurious to you. Um, having luxurious credit to me is just being able to purchase whatever I want when I want, okay, um, and not have to worry about being behind or mismanage anything. So um, different research studies show that African American women, uh, we have our we meet our credit to meet our income meaning we're not making enough money so we're using the credit that we have to recover from you know until we get paid again right so um, another resource study showed that we don't invest in ourselves right. we don't invest you know in anything pretty much and we pretty much live paycheck to paycheck so what i just tried to figure a way was saying well okay if i make this amount of money if i save this amount of money in this amount of time i have this much so i can spend this much and save this much right <laughs> so um i said well why not put that in a blog for everyone to see, you know, so they can get that understanding. And that's where the Zero's Credit, the blog, came from. But it's just basically a spin-off of a and Credit Consulting. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. All right. Cool. So you talked about just spending habits in general. So I'm mm -hmm. curious to hear what your take is because I have some credit cards myself. What is your take on what, what is the most financially responsible thing to do, especially when it comes to credit cards? Paying your bills on time yeah okay yeah not surpassing 30 days late mm -hmm. one 30 day late payment is going to take 12 months to redeem it oh so that's one year because then you just want to know how do you pay your bills mm -hmm. now what are you doing right now because you're wanting to apply for credit right, right now so they want to know the likelihood of them being paid back they also want to know your spending habits meaning if i give you a thousand dollars worth of credit are you going to use the entire thousand dollars each month during the length of the credit that i'm establishing to you so you want to make sure that you keep your credit to debt ratio low i always recommend at least 15 to 20 percent 30 at the most, but of course, the higher your credit card balance is going to decrease your credit score. Mm -hmm. You pay your credit cards down, your credit score is going to increase. So it's just a plan, you know, yes. the credit game. But the biggest two things that I always um, tell people is not to close your credit cards because that helps your credit history. Okay. Um, do not surpass 30 days late okay. whatsoever. Ever. And then, um, of course, keeping your balances low. Okay. All right, so what would, what would be some advice if someone's got high credit cards and they just need to figure out where where do I start? What would be the first thing for them to do to start to try to get their financial right back into order? Okay, 
The first thing that I would recommend is creating a budget so that you'll know how much you can actually pay down. Mint.com is a really good budgeting tool. I heard about Mint.com. Love Mint.com. Yeah. It basically links to your bank accounts mm -hmm. and it tells you exactly what you spend your money on. So let's say you spend $200 on fast food each month. Well, you can narrow that down to 50 bucks mm -hmm. and then that 150 goes over to a savings that you can then use to pay your credit cards down with. Nice. Nice. Budget. Budget. Yes. Okay. That's important. <laughs> My last question for you. Um, I was reading, and there's a credit cupcakes. What? What is, yes. what is this? Credit cupcakes is a credit class um, uh -huh. that I travel the country and I teach. Um, so basically, credit cupcakes is just something fun. Credit is usually the elephant in the room. It's taboo. No one wants to talk about it. So I thought of something that we could do that was fun and engaging and empowering people at the same time. Yeah. And also just getting to meet, you know, travel country and meet new people. So um, I love cupcakes. So, and I love credit, so I said, why not put the two together? <laughs> so, um, in our credit cupcakes, what we do is teach people how to repair their credit, how to check bringing agencies, um, how to budget, basically how giving them the essential tools needed so once they, you know, leave the class, they will be able to take care of the credit. And also, it's a lifestyle changer. Yeah. Um, if you've always had bad credit or mismanaged your money, it's not going to be overnight. You know, so I also want to use motivational tools as well to give them that push. So once they leave the class, it's not like, well, what in the world just happened? Right. You know, you will have those tools to continue to keep going. So starting in 2015, we're going to have a tour. Okay. And we're just going to travel the country and just teach these classes, you know, to as many people as we can reach. Okay, awesome. Do you know when you'll be right here in Atlanta? We was actually here in Atlanta in July. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to get somebody else. Okay. Place. All right. All right. Well, so we have to plug in for for a day. <laughs> Um, we're going to be in Oklahoma okay. um, next weekend on the 15th, but then starting in March of 2015, we'll be in North Carolina, South Carolina, and hopefully we'll be able to hit, you know, Atlanta again. Yeah, well, you know. I'm sure. I, I love it. And we love you here in Atlanta also. That's so special. Perfect. So if we want our viewers to come and, and they want to get to know you and also get to contact you, what is the best way for them to contact okay. you? The best way to contact me is at luxuriouscredit.com. You can find me on all social media outlets such as Twitter, um, Facebook, and Instagram at luxuriouscredit. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much you for, for stopping by. by. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Merritt Fields with InStyle Atlanta. You all have a good one.